What's up, guys? It's Friday, and so you know what time it is. It is time for What the Fitness. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment for Al Gore. Now, this week, we have a return guest, Paul Saladino. Let's see what he has to say. The title is Testicles Banned from Sports. What is it with all these dudes eating raw testicles? I really want to make a joke, but I feel like it like writes itself and it's it just so obvious. So just use your imaginations. Use your imaginations. How about the first part that it's raw f***ing testicles that you're eating? Okay. Anyways, we're just going to gloss over that and then we're going to cover the actual science. Will likely soon be banned from professional sports. Check this out. If you eat testicle, you will be getting bioactive testosterone into your body. How do I know this? At Heart and Soil, we've had all of our supplements rigorously tested by a third-party lab, and all of them passed, except one. Our testicle-containing supplement whole package showed naturally occurring testosterone and multiple androgen metabolites. This really shouldn't come as a huge surprise, though, because the testicles are the main site of testosterone synthesis, in the male body. And testicles have been prized by cultures around the world for thousands of years for their ability to engender strength, energy, and vigor. For athletes who will be drug tested, eating testicle or taking desiccated testicle could be problematic and should be avoided. But for the rest of us, especially those with low or waning testosterone, eating fresh testicle or desiccated testicle could be of huge benefit. Buy my supplement, get jacked. Is it any surprise that this video is coming out shortly after Liver Ding got busted for steroids and Paul is his business partner? Of course, rather than be contrite and actually apologetic, Paul immediately sees dollar signs and is like, how can we flip this? I know, take my desiccated testicle supplement. Testicles contain testosterone. Shocking, I know. Unfortunately, that testosterone is not very bioavailable, which is why the majority of people who use anabolic steroids tend to take injectables. The other reason they take injectables is because oral steroids tend to be very, very hard on your liver. But I guess Paul glossed over that part of it. So there was a study where they gave oral testosterone and looked at the bioavailability of it. And oral testosterone has a very, very high clearance rate and equated to about a three and a half percent bioavailability, meaning Whatever amount of testosterone is in these testicles, you get about three and a half percent of it. Is that enough to actually cause gains? I don't know, maybe. But again, you're taking oral freaking steroids. And there is a reason that most people recommend if you are going to take steroids that you do injectables because oral steroids tend to be very, very hard on the liver, which again, of course, Paul just completely glosses over. So it's either an amount of testosterone that isn't enough to actually have benefits, but probably isn't gonna hurt your liver, or it's an amount of testosterone that could have benefits in terms of muscle mass, but also hurt your liver. So of course, Paul didn't touch on any of this because he doesn't actually read the research, and he's just interested in selling his supplements. If you believe the shit he's trying to sell you, or his business partner, Brian Johnson, AKA Liverding. I have bridges out back for sale. They are going fast. Make sure you pick yours up today. Only $100,000 per bridge. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next week.